All right, then we are live. Good evening po sa inyong lahat mga kaguro. And of course, welcome back to Gurong Pinoy. Nako, 10 days na lamang po. Wala na po makakapagpigil sa inyong licensure examination for teachers. Bagyo, lindol, kahit po yung breakup ninyo, hindi hindi na po mapipigilan yung inyong exam. Okay, so I hope we are all 100% ready para po mag-take ng ating let. And of course, para maipasa ito. And hindi lamang maipasa, of course, maitap pa no, yung ating licensure examination for teachers para po tayong lahat ay magpapaskong may lisensya. Okay? So again, that's 10 days left, mga kaguro. If um, uh, you can imagine, no, yung from May, we started with our discussion, we started with our review until these days, no? So we still have 10 days left prior to your licensure examination for teachers. So sana nga po, just like our team, Skinner Babies, lahat po tayo ay ready na, handang-handa nang maipasa, and of course, maitap yung ating licensure examination for teachers. Okay, so tonight, we still continue with our classified files discussion. This is day four, and tomorrow, of course, you are going to have day five with Coach Toto for math, and of course, classified files then, this weekend for your major shift. And again, we are all doing Doing this so that you can not only pass the let but also top it because if you end up to be our top three, you will be receiving 100,000 pesos. Top two would receive 200,000 pesos. Of course, top one would receive 300,000 pesos from Gurung Pinoy. And so, hindi lamang magpapas kong may licensya, may magpapas ko din pong maraming handa, of course, because you have your 300,000 pesos. So, sana po, dalangin ko, ikaw na po ito kaguro, okay? So, if you have have prepared for your let with us since the time that we started. Of course, you'd always say as soon as you can, you have to become a member of Gurung Pinoy para po wala kayong mamimiss na ating discussion. You can watch all the full-length videos and of course, you will have the access to all our files. Okay? Gaya na lamang na mga magtitake ng let sa March next year, we have Team Pablov. So marami na din po tayong members for Team Pablov. Ongoing na po yung ating enrollment and so just send the message to this Facebook page if you'd want to join us in preparation for Let March 2024. All right, so as I've mentioned, this is Classified Files 4. Please do like, love, share our video, start a watch party, and tag your friends. We will be starting in a few minutes. No? Batiin ko lamang po yung ating manunood, uh, manunood for now. No? Si Ma'am Arona Almazar Obagni, bye-bye, from Antipolo City, Rizal. Good evening po. Ma'am Naika May Saavedra from Team Pavlov. Good evening no, sa mga yung, uh, ating mga March takers uh, for next year pa po sila. From La Union, Sir Jonathan Aspuria. Good evening po. Kaya Agnes na sa kaka-review, sabi ni uh, Ma'am Zek Tours or Sir Zek Tours, okay lang po yan. No? Lahat po ng inyong sakripisyo ay magbubunga. And of course, this is, this is all for you, no? para din po sa inyo, para guminhawa yung buhay. Ika nga, no? makatulong sa pamilya. So lahat ng sakripisyo, lahat ng pagre-review, lahat ng pagpupuyat po ay ating ginagawa for now. Okay, so good evening sa inyong lahat, yung mga newbies natin, yung mga kakatunin pa lamang. Hello po from Southern Leyte. Uh, Facebook user, I do not see your names. From Sarangani, Ma'am Crystal Ann Rendon. Good evening po. Uh, Ma'am Mek, ganda niyo po lalo sa hair mo ngayon. Ay, maraming salamat po, Ma'am Cyril Pangos. Ikaw din po, ang ganda mo po. From Bohol, oy, andyan po kami na uh, sa November, no? Facebook user, sana po magkita tayo. Uh, good evening, Coach Mek, manifesting and claiming it from Ma'am Janice Dumdum. Good evening po. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Jazil of Friend, for tagging some of your friends. Good evening from Bohol, na Facebook user. Hindi ko po nakikita yung name ninyo. Ganon din po si Facebook user from Romblon. Maraming uh, salamat for tuning in. And of course, good evening, Ma'am Dianis Baklig from Cagayan Valley. Good evening po. All right. Uh, from Agusan del Sur, Ma'am Jayan Gonzalez Bahan. Good evening. LPT this year, sabi ni Ma'am Jayan. Okay, from Pasig City, Facebook user. Good evening po. From Hindang, Leyte, Ma'am Madel Pigoria Carillas. Good evening. From Aurora, Sir JC Kirihero. Good evening po sa inyong lahat. Naimbag na Rabi, Coach Mek from Abra, Facebook user. Hindi ko po nakikita yung inyong name. All right, so let's all have our opening prayer para makapag-start na po tayo. Please join me, mga kaguro.
Dear Lord, I come to you to ask for your guidance and direction in this study session. I ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with strength, creativity, and understanding to get through my studies without difficulty or sin. Help me hold my focus and attention. Help me to retain all that I learned. Please make my mind sharp and keep distractions at bay. If any part of my studying is weak or lacking in some way, let it be revealed so that I may correct it. Thank you for this opportunity to learn. Amen. All right, classified files for like, love, share our video po. And of course, tag your friends so that mas marami tayo, mas masaya. We start with question number one. Okay, number one, it is the population of different kinds of animals. Would this be your community or would this be your ecosystem? What's your choice? Number one, tama kaya. Sa wadika from Mambelski Magno from Thailand. Nandiyan din po kami next uh, month. Okay, magkita po tayo, Ma'am Belsky. Kinapawan City, good evening. From Ma'am Randalian Pep, good evening po. Uh -huh. From Hindang Leite. Uh, Ma'am Daylin or Daylin Borleo Gumanoy, good evening. From Marawi City, Ma'am Kim or Sir Kim Mac McCartney, the second, good evening po. Okay, what is our choice for question number one? Ma'am Kim C. Floralde, good evening po. Thank you, Gurung Pinoy. Let passer na. Isa po kayo sa way na pumasa ako. God bless you. That's coming from Ma'am Lenny T. Gieb, LPT. From Palawan, Sir Jafet Asuela, good evening po. Okay, ano kaya yung tumpak na choice for... Question number one. Sabi ni Sir Ernest uh, Ibanez dito, Good evening po, Coach Mac and September 2023 LPTs. Mag-ready na po yung 300K. Malapit nang mapasakin yan. Reviewing from Thailand. Good evening po. Okay, sana po magdilang ang hell kayo, Sir Ernest. And amin pong kaligayahan kapag ka kayo po'y naging top one. No? So ipagpapanalangin po natin yan. And of course, pagtatrabahuan po. Okay, what is your choice number one? Please put your answer in our comment box. Some are saying community, others are saying ecosystem. Ano kaya ang ating tumpak na choice? Sabi ni Ma'am Via Lagor, community. Ma'am Jezri Cuevo, community. Mm -hmm. Facebook users are saying community, others are saying ecosystem. Okay, going back to our item here, it is the population of different kinds of animals. Population of different kinds of animals, kumbaga no, combination siya ng different populations. And so, ang ating pong tumpak na choice dito would be community. Community is our right choice, not your ecosystem. Bakit ligwak ang ecosystem? Let's take a look at our next slide. Now, so, these are the different levels of biological organizations starting from the cell. Now, the cell is the basic unit of structure and function sa ating pong mga organisms. Now, so, even if you only have one cell, a single cell or one cell, may survive, di ba? Meron tayong mga organism na unicellular such as our bacteria. Now, if you go higher, no, a group of cells um, would be called your tissue, okay? So a group of cells would be called your tissue. Group of tissues having the same structure and function would be called your organs. So some examples of your organs, of course, are your heart, your liver, your stomach, your lungs, your eye, your brain. These are some uh, types or some examples of organs. Then, of course, if you have different organs playing the same function or helping each other to play a function, we would call this your organ system, your digestive system, nervous system, circulatory system respiratory system, excretory system, and so on. Now, now, all of these systems would make up your organism, okay? So, tayo as a tao, tayo bilang, uh, bilang organismo, we have many different types of organ systems. And these organ systems, of course, are made up of organs that are made up of tissues that are made up of cells. So, cell yung pinaka-basic, okay? Now, if you have a population, kapag uh, sinabi mo pong population, ang pagkakaiba ng population, 
population and yung community mo is that your population is just um, one species. Okay? So, isang species lamang. Lahat po sila ay tao, no? such as our illustration here. Now, take note. Wala pong term na species. Okay, so even if it's just one, you say species. You don't say one species. Okay, species yung tawag natin. No? So species is both singular and plural. Okay, so kung lahat po sila ay nagbebelong sa isang species lamang, that would be called a population. Kunwari kayo, di ba, sa isang classroom. That is a population kasi wala pong uh, langgam sa inyo, wala pong aso, wala pong ahas. Okay, we are talking about denotation or dictionary meaning. No? Maaring maging ahas siya, pero connotation na po yan. No? Remember, we've talked about the difference between connotation and denotation. Okay? Maaring inahas yung jowa mo, nag inyong best friend, no? Pero lahat po kayo ay tao, and so that to be a population. Now, if there is a combination of different types of species, such as in your zoo, then you'd call that your community. Kaya ito kanina yung ating choice of different populations or populations of different different animals. So, meron kang zebra, meron kang apes, meron kang um, lion, meron kang giraffes. No? So, this is your community. Combination of different populations, different species. Now, ang ecosystem mo naman po, pagkakaiba niya sa community, is that the ecosystem is the interaction, the interaction between the living things and the non-living components of an environment. So living and non-living combination nila or interaction nila is called an ecosystem. No? Sometimes the living things or organisms, we use the term biotic. Okay, biotic. Remember, bio means life. No? So biotic means living. And abiotic or abiotic means non-living. No? Tinatanong po ito ng inyong licensure exam. Which among the following is an example of, of an abiotic factor in your ecosystem? Abiotic or abiotic. That means you will be looking for something that's non-living. No? So typical na magiging sagot mo doon would be rivers, seas, your rocks, okay, non-living, non-living, yung inyong abiotic, while your biotic factors are living, okay? Then, of course, you have the biosphere. This is the different, this is a combination of the different layers of the earth, which support life, no? Kasama na po dyan, of course, yung inyong atmosphere, your hydrosphere, lahat ng uri ng tubig or body sa water, your geosphere, no, or lithosphere, uh, yung lupa, no? So, lahat po yan would would constitute your biosphere, all the layers of the earth that support life. Sana po, klaro na. Kung meron pong tanong, ay magtanong. Ayan, sabi ni Ma'am Hope Grace Lopez. Ouch, number one pa lang ligwak na. Sabi na nga ba, nag-o-overthink kasi. Okay, so okay lang po yan, no? At least hindi pa po licensure exam for teachers. You still have 10 days to relearn and to unlearn some of your misconceptions. So again, ang ating pong tumpak na choice was eco, uh, not ecosystem, sorry, community, not ecosystem. Sana po nakuha yung pagkakaiba. Ecosystem is living plus non-living. Okay? We go to question number two. What is a brief story of animals as characters that teaches a lesson? Aesop's Fables or Panchatantra? What is our choice? From Leite, Ma'am Sheila, good evening po. Uh, from El Nido, Palawan, Facebook user, Ma'am Sara G. Ortiz, LPT, manifesting, sabi ni Ma'am Sara. Okay, Aesop's Fables. Uh, from Canlaon, Sir John Mark, good evening po. Sir Clyde says Aesop's Fables, Ma'am Mylene, Sir Lawrence, Ma'am Glory, Ma'am Janelle. Okay, lahat kayo Aesop's Fables. And of course, ang ating pong tumpak na choice dito would be Aesop's Fables. Okay, so tama po yan. That is our choice here. No? So fable, when you say fable, this is a story with animals as the characters. And of course, it teaches a lesson. The best types of fables would be those that were written by Aesop. No? Kaya uh, tinatawag natin 
ating Aesop's Fables. Yung Pancha Tantra mo, although this is also a collection of fables, ito naman po ay ginawa ni Vishnu Sharma and ito ay isang Indian collection. It's a collection of Indian fables by Vishnu Sharma. That would be your Pancha Tantra. Lumalabasin po yan sa let. So dapat po alam natin kung ano yung Pancha Tantra. We go to number three. Which plant part is responsible for transport of food? Silent? Or phloem, what's your choice? Uh, okay, what is our choice for question number three? Aesop's fables, no fables or pabula, sabi ni Facebook user, tama po, pabula in Filipino. Good evening, Sir Giro Rafael, or Rafalie, from Paranaque. good evening po. Okay, what is our choice? Hala, ayun, samutari na. May flow and my silem. Sino kaya ang tumpak? Okay. From Antique, Ma'am Faye. Good evening po. Flow and flow and or silem? All right, going back to your item here. Yung tanong po, no? Which plant part is responsible for transport of food? Okay, so which one tra uh, transports food? The ang tumpak na choice natin dito is the phloem. Okay, so phloem is tumpak, not your xylem. No, yung xylem po would transport water and nutrients while your phloem would transfer uh, would transport food, no? So yung inyong tat tatandaan, phloem, phloem, is for food, okay? So the same beginning sound. Phloem, food. Phloem is for food, while xylem is for water and nutrients, okay? Awit ligwak, sabi ni Ma'am Yvonne Abelgas. Okay lang po yan, Ma'am. Alright, so phloem po ang ating tumpak na choice. We go to number four. The process used by plants, algae, and some bacteria to turn sun sunlight into energy, carbon cycle, or photosynthesis. Ito, pabalik-balik. Since we started sa classified, uh, classified Files Part 2, meron na tayong mga discussion Nito, no? So, saan siya nangyayari? Where is the site of this? Ano yung green pigment? No? Na tanong natin yan sa ating classified files. Alright, so what is your choice for number four? Very easy. Okay, so sabi dito, the process used by plants, algae, some bacteria to turn sunlight into energy. Okay, tumpak na choice of course would be photosynthesis. Tama po yan, okay? So carbon cycle essentially is how carbon is recycled no, in your uh, environment. But here we are looking for the term photosynthesis. Now remember, no, this is uh, the balanced chemical equation of photosynthesis. Your reactants or those things that you need for photosynthesis would be carbon dioxide from the air and of course water through the roots of your plants. No? And of course chlorophyll would gather sunlight and the products would be this one, C6H12O6 is glucose or sugar. Or sometimes you also would call this carbohydrates. No, ito yung pinaka food. Ito po yung pinaka uh, major product ng inyong photosynthesis. No, kasi ito yung food ng inyong plants. Ito din yung kinakain natin from the plants. No, so kunwari kumain ka ng apple, that would be the sugar, that would be the carbohydrates na kinakain mo na produkto ng inyong photosynthesis. So C6H12O6. Glucose, sugar, carbohydrate, the major product of photosynthesis. And this is a byproduct, no? six molecules of oxygen gas. This would be a byproduct, which means it is a waste product of photosynthesis. Bucket waste product because it is not used directly by your plants. It is given off to the air so that we, the animals, can breathe them in. Okay, so tayo, tayong mga um, hayop, no? Tay mga hayop yung gumagamit ng oxygen gas for breathing, okay? For our respiration. Okay, so tandaan po, tinatanong po yan ng let, what is a major product of photosynthesis? Your answer would be glucose or sugar or carbohydrate. What is the waste product of photosynthesis? Your answer would be oxygen gas, okay? Carbon dioxide and water are reactants. That means these are the substances that are needed so that your photosynthesis would happen, okay? But photosynthesis, ang ating tumpak na choice for number four. Sabi ni Sir Francisco Rosales, tayong mga hayop, tama po. Okay, number five. 
what term is popularly used for England's Queen Elizabeth I na meron na tayong question nito. In the previous days, binaliktad lamang yung question. No? So sometimes, the let would give you a question na baliktad. No? Sometimes then, uh, yung tatanong ni let, sino yung tinawag na ganito? No? So what would be your choice for number five? Number five, pal- pabalik-balik po itong question na to sa ating Gen Ed. Okay, number five, I see Virgin Queen, sabi ni Sir Josh, ni Ma'am Jenny Lynn, ni Ma'am Jane, ni Ma'am Marie, ni Ma'am April, ni Sir Wilby, Ma'am Wilby, Ma'am Irene, Sir Noel, Ma'am Emily, Ma'am Jehan. Okay, tumpak na choice of course, sabi ni Sir Brian Basco, Virgin Queen, and that is tumpak, okay? So sometimes the let would ask you the question in reverse, now who is known as the Virgin Queen? And so yung inyong magiging sagot doon would be Queen Elizabeth I, no? So sometimes, ito din yung magiging question, what term is popularly used for England's Queen Elizabeth I? And so your answer would be the Virgin Queen. All right, we go, hindi ako naniniwala alam virgin siya sabi ni June Coral no Sir June Coral bakit po meron ka po bang il- alam Sir June hindi namin alam hindi daw siya naniniwala ng virgin queen si Queen Elizabeth the first now we go to number six who is the proponent of arena theater is it Montano or Tino okay who is your choice for number five or number six sorry okay number six Pa shout out, Mom Grace. Hello, po. Good evening. Sir John says Montano. Sir Mark John Montano. Mom Michelle Montano. Mom Tess Montano. Mom Grace Montano. Sir James Montano. Okay, karamihan Montano may ilang team yo. Okay, proponent of your arena theater, of course, would be Montano. Okay, remember your mnemonics or your acronym matters. Okay, matters. Montano for arena theater, Tino for experimental theater, and Rogers for sala or sala theater. Okay, so that's matters. That would be your mnemonic. All right? So, sana po maalala, sana po mamemorya, Montano ang ating tumpak na choice for number six, Cesar Montano. Okay, number seven, what is the waste product? Ayan, kaka-mention ko lamang, no? Kaya dapat po ay nakikinig ng mabuti, ina-absorb kung ano yung ating pinapakinggan. Hindi po dapat distracted. Huwag muna makichat sa jowa, no? Makinig po ng uh, maayos at masigasig, okay? Concentrate. What is the waste product of photosynthesis? Glucose or oxygen? What's your choice? Okay? I've mentioned this kanina, no? Just a few minutes ago. All right. Oxygen. Aha, uh-huh. I see a lot of oxygen sa ating comment box. Mom Ruth says oxygen, Mom Jayan, Sir Dariel, Mom Lenny, Mom Jezebel, Mom Sahada, Mom Ninfa. Okay, Mom Arby, Sir Arby. All right, tumpak na choice of course would be oxygen, okay? As I have mentioned, waste product siya ng photosynthesis dahil tayo mga hayop yung gumagamit ng oxygen, no? Yung glucose mo, this is the major product. Siya yung pinaka-produkto ng inyong photosynthesis because remember, the definition of your pho- photosynthesis is how plants or the process through which plants make their own food. And their own food is in the form of glucose. Yung pinag-usapan natin kanina ng C6H12O6. Okay? So, oxygen ang ating tumpak na choice. Alright, we go to number 8. No? But before that, let me just... Um, uh, stress this, no? Kasi lumalabasin po ito sa inyong licensure exam for teachers. Maliban sa photosynthesis, the other um, process that's very important in keeping organisms alive would be cellular respiration or cell respiration. Now, ang inyong photosynthesis at cellular respiration, they come hand in hand, no? They are complementary processes, which means na kung ano yung produkto ng isang process, ginagamit as the reactant for the other process and vice versa. No? So one, one of these processes will not happen if the other is not present. 
Okay, or if the other does not occur, all right? So photosynthesis, again, this is the process through which plants make their own food, no? And uh, kanina nakita natin sa ating chemical equation, kailangan ng carbon dioxide from the air and kailangan ng tubig from the roots of the plants, no? Absorbed by the roots of the plants. And of course, you have your chlorophyll in your chloroplast. Sa chloroplast po, nangyayari, this is the site for photosynthesis. And the products are glue glucose as a major product and oxygen gas as the byproduct or waste product now these two products your glucose and oxygen gas will be used by your other process which is cellular respiration cellular respiration naman po is the process through which the cells would make energy in the form of ATP, di ba? your adenosine triphosphate. So your oxygen gas here and glucose will be used. And the site, kung saan po nangyayari yung cellular respiration mo, you call this your mitochondria. Kaya po siya tinatawag na powerhouse of the cell, di ba? Kasi po, dyan ginagawa ang ating energy, okay? Which is the ATP. So the mitochondria is a powerhouse of the cell. Oxygen and glucose are used. And the products, of course, are your ATP, carbon dioxide, and water, okay? So vice versa po sila. Magkabaliktad ang inyo pong photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Now remember, very important thing that you have to remember or you have to understand is that only plants would undergo photosynthesis. Plants, some algae, some bacteria, no? sabi kanina ng ating question. So plants, some algae, some bacteria can undergo photosynthesis. Now for your cellular respiration, both plants and animals would undergo cellular respiration. Okay, uh, Photosynthesis happens in the chloroplast of your plant cell. Your cellular respiration happens in the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. Okay, As you can see, the products of water would become the reactants for the other process, okay? And so this is um, how your photosynthesis and cellular, re cellular respiration would keep the organisms on Earth alive, okay? But Kasi pag wala pong photosynthesis, we cannot breathe. Walang oxygen gas. We also cannot make our ATP, no? our energy for the cell. Kung wala pong cellular respiration, walang carbon dioxide na gagamitin naman sa, uh, para sa photosynthesis, okay? So hand in hand, dalawa po sila. These are the two very important processes that keep organisms alive, okay? We go to question number eight. Ang Cebuano, Ilocano at Hiligay noon ay halimbawa ng anong variety ng wika? Is this Ijulek or Dialek? What is our choice? Okay, Sir Rodolfo, Junior Kawit, good evening po. Maraming salamat for tagging your friends. Ma'am Irish, good evening po. Yes, I can see your name. Alright, dialect. Dialect. Ang aking nakikitang sagot po ninyo ay dialect. Cebuano, Ilocano, Hiligay non. Ang ating pong tumpak na choice of course is dialect. No? Another term for this would be lalawiganin. Okay, lalawiganin or panglalawigan. No, maaari. Ang idulek, pag sinabi mo pong idulek, uh, para siyang personal na uh, estilo ng pananalita. No? So, for example, kapag ka narinig nyo si um, Sumalangit Nawa, no? si Ginoong Mike Enriquez na umubo at nagsabi ng excuse me po, alam nyo na, na siya yun, di ba? Kapag ka narinig nyo uh, tumatawa si Chris Aquino, alam nyo na, na siya yun, di ba? So, very distinct yung kanyang boses, okay? Kung baga meron siyang estilo kung paano siya magsalita, no? yung diction niya, yung kanyang... Um, inflection no yung tone all right so that's idiolect pero dialect po ang ating hinahanap dito all right we go to question number 9 which of the following is not a dance from mexico polka or jarabe tapatio sana po eh tama yung ating pronunciation hello sa mga mape majors aw 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 rosmar <laughs> okay so alam mong si rosmar kapag ka aw 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 ganun po ba yon Aha, uh -huh. what is your choice? Polka. All right, I see a lot of polka sa ating pong comment box. 
Okay, which is not a dance from Mexico. Tumpak na choice dito is polka. Okay, so this one originated in 19th century Bohemia, which is now part of the Czech Republic. Okay, so Czech yung polka, no? Galing po siya sa Czech Republic. Ang Harabi Tapatio, this is a Mexican hat dance, which is also the national dance of Mexico. Okay, so yan po talaga yung kanilang national dance. Ano na nga yung ating national dance? Is it tinikling or is it kariñosa? Kariñosa pa rin po ba or tinikling na? Or baka budots na, no? So, I know some of our national symbols have been changed, no? So, update nga po, Mapi Major, ano na po yung ating national dance? Okay, tapatio. Ah, okay. So, harabi tapet tapatio, sabi ni Ma'am May. Aha. Uh -huh. Tinikling na. Karinyosa, may nagsasabing karinyosa, merong nagsasabing, nagsasabing tinikling na. Sabi ni man, naman ni Ma'am Jory, may TikTok na po. Okay, TikTok na. Tinikling na po. Parang tinikling na, no? Kaldag po, sabi ni Sir Francisco. Sir Francisco, ang daming hirip. Karinyosa, o oh, i-check nyo yan later ha, karinyosa pa rin ba? Alam ko dati karinyosa, I'm not sure if na change siya into tinikling, no? Parang na-change into tinikling. I-check nyo po yan later, okay? Hindi po budots, Ma'am Hope Grace, ha? Kaldag na, sabi ni Ma'am Karen. Alright, and so, ang tumpak na choice natin dito is polka for number 9. Number 10, the philosophy of the folks during pre-Hispanic -his era. Is this folkways or folklore? What's your choice? Aha. Uh -huh. What is your choice? Number 10. Ano yung pilosopiya, no? Pilosopiya ng mga uh, pre-Hispanic na folks natin. Kung ba yung mga katutubo bago dumating yung mga Espanyol. Okay? What's your choice? Naririnig ko si Coach June. Okay? Sabi ng isang kaguru natin. Alright, tumpak na choice dito, of course, would be folklore. Folklore po ang ating tumpak na choice na philosophy of the folks during pre-Hispanic era is folklore. Alright? Ang folkways naman po, these are behavior, behaviors that are learned and shared by a social group. Okay? So more on behaviors, no? yung inyong folkways. Alright, so ang atin pong hinahanap is folklore. Folklore. Uh, basahin ko lamang. Sir Enod. Nasaan na Sir Enod? Miss you, Ma'am Meg. Uh, pati yung boses niyo po. I'm still watching your drill kahit LPT na ako. Hashtag Team Bruner. Good evening po. Good evening. Maraming salamat for still watching. Alright, so folklore ang atin pong tumpak na choice. Number 11, group of cells is called, ayan, kakasabi lang natin, organ or tissue. Sa ating levels of organization kanina, di ba? A group of cells would be called, what is your choice? Mam Ma Arnie says tissue, Mam Ma Isaleen tissue, Mam Ma Jeng tissue, Mam Ma Sheer tissue, Sir Jiro, Mam Ma Lizelle, Sir JP, Mam Ma Lin, Mam Ma Anne. Okay, Ma'am Jenny, all of you, almost all of you are saying tissue, and that, of course, is tumpak. Okay, so cells, then tissue, then organ, then organ system, organism, and so on. Okay, so C-T-O-S-O, -O. nakita ko sa ating uh, comment, no? C-T-O-S-O, -O. cell, tissue, organ, system, and organism. Okay, so tissue is tumpak. Number 12, ano ang kasalungat ng pagtutol, pagsang-ayon or di pagsang-ayon? What is your choice? Very easy. Hello, Ma'am Glyme. Good evening po. Ay, Giammy pala. Ma'am Giammy Kuales. Good evening po. Uh, thank you, Gurung Pinoy and Ma'am Mek. LPT na po ako in just one take. BS Ed TLE here. God bless po. That's coming from Ma'am Moon Dalino. Good evening po, Ma'am. 
Okay, pagsang-ayon, pagsang-ayon ang aking nakikitang choice ninyo, kasalungat, no? which means antonyms. All right? So magkabaliktad yung kanila pong uh, kahulugan. Pagtutol is, your choice here would be pagsang-ayon. Diba? If you, uh, kung ikaw ay tumututol, that means hindi ka sumasang-ayon. No? You are against. Diba? Um, so yung ating pong kasalungat dito would be pag pagsang-ayon. Ang di pagsang-ayon ay synonym, no? So, uh, kahalintulad ng inyong pagtutol. Alright? So, pagsang-ayon po ang ating hinahanap dito. Pagsang-ayon. Ayan. Ay, hindi ko nabasa yung D. No? Ay, ay, ang kasalungat, no? And so, pagsang-ayon ang ating pong tumpak na choice. Okay? Kasalungat po. Naku, mag-ingat sa pagbabasa. Alright, we go to number 13. Ito ay binubuo ng salita o grupo ng mga salita na may buong diwa, sugnay o pangungusap. Aha, hala, ang daming na victim na no? ng uh, di pagsang-ayon or pagsang-ayon. Okay, what is our choice? We are already at number 13. Good evening sa ating 2,357-361 viewers. Good evening po. Um, Ma'am Joy Docs. Good evening, Coach. Next week na po ang final coaching with Coach Toto and Sir June. Coach Toto would still have the calculator techniques tomorrow at 4 p.m. sa ating mga math major. And at 7 p.m., he will have uh, your final coaching, no? Uh, hindi po final coaching. Classified files dito po sa Team Skinner. Now, on Saturday, he would still have calculate, uh, calculator techniques pa rin with the math major. Si Coach, to, uh, Coach June, meron po siyang uh, two sessions by next week. Okay, so dalawang sessions next week kay Coach June. All right, I see a lot of pangungusap, binubuo ng salita o grupo ng mga salita na may buong diwa, tumpak na choice, of course, would be pangungusap. No? Yung uh, pangungusap, of course, in English, this is a sentence. Yung inyong sugnay, this is a clause, di ba? So clause, kalipunan ng mga salitang may simuno or may paksa, your um, paksa no? and uh, panaguri, okay? So may subject at my predicate. Yan yung inyong sugnay. No? This is your clause in English. Uh, although you might say that uh, meron kang mga sugnay na, na nakapag-iisa or makapag-iisa, meron din namang hindi. No? So meron kang independent clause at dependent clause. So yung pinakatamang choice natin dito would be pangungusap. No? Mas safe tayo sa pangungusap kesa sa sugnay. Alright, number 14. Ito ay uri ng pagtatanghal na binubuo ng paligsahan ng dalawang makata, balagtasan o duplo. Aha, what is our choice? Ma'am Patricia Cabrera, hanggang next week po, discussions ng classified files? Yes po. Classified files for Prof. Ed, meron po tayo. Next week din po. Alright, I see balagtasan. Sabi ni Ma'am Jean May, Sir RJ, uh, Ma'am Cyril, Sir June. Ma, uh, si Sir, Sir Michael, sabi ni Sir Michael, flip top po. Rock battle. Okay, moderno na po yan. Alright, balagtasan, and of course that is tumpak. Okay, so uh, paligsahan ng dalawang makata, no? balagtasan, flip top nga ito. No? This is a rap battle, kumbaga no? sa moderno, sa moderno panahon. Ang duplo, uh, ito naman po isang laro, di ba? It, ito isang laro, isang paligsahan din na ginaganap kapag ka may lamay. Okay, so since you have the term dalawang makata, balagtasan ang ating hinahanap. No? Of course, it is named after balagtas. Alright, we go to number 15 all of the following are compounds except carbon dioxide or oxygen live po ba ang math sabi ni ma'am glory Fe, yes po live po ang math ma'am or sir jeremy de la cruz good evening po yes nakikita ko po yung inyong comment mabilis lang po yung ating comment box na masyado mabilis kaya minsan hindi ko po mabasa pa isa-isa all right, oxygen, oxygen. Nakikita kong choice niyo is oxygen. All of the following are compounds except, okay? So which one is not a compound? Kapag kasi nabi pong compound, it is made up of two or more elements, no? So dalawa or mas marami pa 
sa dalawa na elemento, no? Element. And so, carbon dioxide here is a compound, di ba? So, meron kang carbon. Ang dioxide would mean dalawang oxygen, no? Dalawang oxygen atoms. So, meron kang carbon at may oxygen. Ang inyong pong choice dito, of course, would be oxygen, no? So, mag-isa lamang siya. It is an element. It is not a compound but an element only, no? So, lahat po na nakikita nyo sa inyong periodic table, all of those are just elements, di ba? Kaya kaya siya tinawag na periodic table of elements. Kapag kinumbay na po sila, uh, what you'd form would be your compounds. All right, we go to number 16. Thank you for your candor, Mr. Secretary. The word candor means frankness or kindness. What's your choice? Okay, what is our choice for 16? Ano kaya ang tumpak na choice for question number 16? Okay, frankness, kindness, my frankness, my kindness. Okay, this is a very common vocab sa inyo pong licensure exam for teachers. So sana po wala na tayong kalituhan dito, no? wala na tayong pagkalito in this item. All right, so what do you think is the right choice for this item? Okay, your choice right here, of course, candor means frankness. Okay, so pranka, no? when you say candor, this means pagiging pranka, no filter. Hindi po pagiging kind, but pagiging frank ang ating hinahanap. Okay, so frankness is what we are looking for in number 16. We go to number 17, sex cells reproduce through, is it mitosis or meiosis? Mitosis kaya or meiosis? What is our choice? Uh-huh. What's your choice for number 17?